TIFU telling a woman, in her home, to have a nice day. I clean pools. Greeted Mrs. Woman at the front door. She said she'll be inside if needed. I go into the backyard and get to work. I finish and stick my head in the door to let her know I'm done and I'm leaving. You can see straight into the bedroom from the front door. She's sitting on her bed. Watching TV. I tell her you have a nice day. Get back to home base. Boss comes at me screaming that Mrs. Woman is threatening to cancel us and to not ever send out that perverted creep again. I'm dumbfounded. He said Mrs. Woman called saying that I told her you have a nice bed as she's laying on it. At this point I'm both seething but also cry laughing. I tell boss that I told her you have a nice day. Boss opens his mouth to say something, stops, slowly turns and walks away. I didn't get an apology for being yelled at either. TLDRI. A male. Told a female customer you have a nice day but she heard it as you have a nice bed as she's laying on it. At least. You didn't get fired ver the misunderstanding. Your boss is a douche. For not hearing your version first. I'm pretty sure the rules of Reddit state that you shouldn't use real names in your stories. Mrs. Woman is now going to get doxxed because of you. If someone told me I have a nice bed I'd be confused because my bed honestly isn't that nice. But then I'd proudly say thanks it's made out of pine and I put it together all by myself using a screwdriver by following the instructions. Even if you did say you have a nice bed, so what? What's inappropriate about that? Mrs. Woman her poor husband must have had a hell of a time living as Mr. Woman. To be fair, I would also be a little bit shocked to see someone pop into my house. Usually when people work on our house they call or knock on the front door to say goodbye or if they need anything. Or they just leave without saying anything. I get that the situation is crappy and you meant no harm. But it's best to stay on the safe side. I'm a bit hearing impaired. So I can see me hearing you have a nice bed instead of nice day. But I would probably just say thanks. And not assume it was anything sexual. Because I do have a pretty cool antique bed with a nice down duvet cover set. It looks fluffy and comfortable. I just think you were weirdly observant. But I would be mad if you just opened the door without knocking. Since that's a boundary for me. Unless the person is doing work inside the house and needs to be in and out to get things from the truck, etc. Did you knock first? Because taking the initiative to open the door to someone's home is presumptuous at best. Did you at least knock though? Or snack attack surprise here's Johnny have a nice day's idk why her doors weren't locked but still bad etiquette. Was her bed nice? Freudian thought on her part. Next time make your move. If you're getting fired, do it right. She was having a bed day. Freudian slip of the ear. Bosses need to stop yelling at their employees so often, or at least mine does. Not gonna lie. When I read the first first few sentences this is not at all where I expected this story to go. But hey. If you need anything. I'll be inside. I always used to say alright I'm headed out. Have a good one. People just trying to be victims over everything. The woman heard what she wanted to hear. Ah man. To reduce misunderstandings I always first announce that I'm done. Like. Knock knock excuse me. Work is done. Everything went smoothly. Have a nice bed.
I did get propositioned once for telling a girl she had a nice bed. And then somehow turned it into not being spoken to. Didn't really understand either part. To be honest it was simply a nice bed. If he she were to fire you out of nowhere in the next few days that's a big lawsuit OP and I have had people tell me that. Still not fair for you and WTF what's that lady's problem? She's just pissy that pool guy didn't cock her. So you didn't knock or ring a doorbell. You just opened someone's home to holler street them that you were done. That's the real fuck up here. Use that as a wake up. Spend some time to find yourself alternate employment. Then give that boss of yours a miss. Knock on the door. Don't just enter you creep. This should be common knowledge. Did you have an active invitation to enter their house without notice? Cancel culture SMH. Was the door open or did you open it? If you opened it without knocking then that's the real TIFU. I get some people want to know when you're done. But you still got a knock again so they can open the door for you. Being let on the property. In this case the backyard. Isn't an invitation to enter and exit the actual house as you please. I'm confused. What's the fuck up in the story? Maybe she has watched too much porn and was waiting on the bed hoping for some kind of scenario. Where the pool person comes in to clean her filters after they were done with the pool. Then because you didn't she got angry and made a complaint. Isn't as common to just drop you and say have a nice day. I'd say the foo was hers. She thought you caught her playing out her pool boy fantasy and was embarrassed. You didn't wonder about the vibrating pool noodle on her bed. Cold sweat smile. I'm a female and yes we imagine P0RNO scenarios too lol. Somehow if this was in my home. I would expect you to come in to at least drink some water or coffee. If you want more you could just make some yourself. Just don't mess up my home. Although I get the leaving without saying anything. Somehow I think it's really polite to just come to me and tell me you're done and leaving. I could thank you. And when you're in my backyard you're kinder already inside of my home I feel like. That being said in my case you have to go through the house in order to get to the backyard. So maybe that also makes it different. Oh god. This reminds me of the time I asked somebody. Would you like a water? And somehow they heard would you like my number? I've never been that bold in my life to ask a question like that to a stranger. I used to deliver for Instacart. One night during my last delivery of the day I was dead tired and after I handed this lady her groceries I winked at her. I don't know why I did that shit. I wasn't trying to flirt. I was just exhausted and socially awkward at times. They fired my ass that same week lol. Doesn't help that I was a black guy in my 20s and she was a middle-aged white woman. I'm sorry but I'm female and I do not see what would have been wrong even if you'd said you have a nice bed. I have a nice bed. It's messy but I think my bedding's cute and I wouldn't be insulted by that even if I was laying on or in the bed. My partner also does pools and he has had some weird experiences his are usually good. But I swear these people live on an entirely different planet based on some of the stories. Tears of joy. I love how instead of asking the employee what happened the boss just starts yelling I would have. Been like I said have a good day to her and now I quit so you have a nice day also and take care. The rest of my workload. I don't get it. What's bad about saying you have a nice bed? I have a hard time seeing how that's implying anything sexual but whatever.